Welcome back bogies, part two of our Honda restoration. Um, you can grow my sideies. That's not so good that side. This side's better. Okay, I've got the thing stripped down. I'll show you the um, things that I found. Um, so I didn't video any of this, but I just did it in spare time. So yeah, all taken apart. The key thing to do is there's four main bolts that hold all the the cam and everything on, all the rockers on, but there's also two more bolts um, that need undoing that are hidden down where this chain is um, before everything comes off, which if you read the manual, it tells you that. So uh, yeah, let's go show you the bits and we can show you what the problem is. Okay, got everything the bits. Um, obviously once I got the, the block off, I saw what the problem was. Um, but, uh, I'll show you now. You can see uh, the piston is buggered and definitely the rings are pretty buggered so what I should do is check the oil level next I think to see what caused this problem because obviously something caused it can't tell if these are original parts or not so I don't know if anyone out there can tell me uh, so M1 something else written on there so yeah obviously that's why there's no compression look at it completely murdered what I did find is that there's supposed to be two clips and that clip is partially in the side. Basically there's two little serial clips either side that hold the gaffing pin on. Um, I only saw one clip um, and this pin was nearly sticking right out. Whether it was enough to actually touch the balls or not and cause problems, could have been that. Um, but basically yeah, I can still see partially a partial clip still in there, but this got forced past the, the serial clip. So whether that happened after or before, not too sure. So yeah, that's definitely why we've got lack of compression. We've also got scoring, hard to see I suspect, in the bores. Also, it's like it's melted. So basically it got very hot obviously at some point. And obviously it's seized mostly going to the top. And then obviously someone's cranked it over and broken it. But obviously now what's going on there. And so it's never gonna start. So it looks like I'm gonna need a new, new block, new piston, some gudgeon pin. New gaskets. Quick examination of the head. Looks good. But my mate Nathan said worth just popping the valves out. Give them a quick grind and decoke while it's all apart. Um, yeah, so have seen on eBay. I've ordered some stainless studs to replace the exhaust ones. Um, but yeah, have seen on eBay you can get for 60 quid you can get. Chinese copy block and pistons and gasket set but again my mate Nathan who tells me to spend money says buy proper buy Honda so I'm gonna uh, get proper prices tomorrow on proper genuine parts because the daughter does want to do a lot of cruising on it and a lot of long rides so uh, yeah so we'll get that done so um, yeah so yeah Pretty easy to pull apart in the end. Uh, use a bolt to sort of pull it out a little bit because it's a bit stiff, the gudgeon pin. Uh, but yeah, we've got the problem now. Uh, we know what the problem is, so it's just a case of ordering up all the parts, rebuilding the engine, putting it all back together. So yeah, hopefully, uh, there's some entertainment. So it's not minis, and so it's not house, um, or it's not a Mark 1. But, uh, I'm definitely getting there soon. Uh, trust me, honest. Just one little bit more before I hang up this video. Is some of the bodywork's a bit knackered, a bit cracked in places, so I've got myself some fiberglass. Uh, and just gonna fiberglass this stuff back together, I think. So I might put a little bit of pop with it, a bit of plastic on there first. Or maybe just at least duct tape this side, put a bit of fiberglass that side, and then what I do is I'll grind out this side a bit lay a bit of fiberglass in there and then uh, try and sand it back with a little bit of filler um, and then either just paint these things gloss black or I don't know if you remember but I did say I bought some carbon map um, so I might give the carbon map in a go so I was going to do it on the old mini bike even though I was going to do black but that's because I ordered the wrong one on eBay and it came as carbon wrap so but hey could be useful now daughter might quite like carbon so yeah, um, 
we'll crack on with the panel work in the next few days while I uh, order up the bits. So, keep your chin up, bogeys. Speak to you later.